Opinions on Andrew Tate and the masculine movement happening in young men across the globe. I really haven't said anything about Andrew Tate, and I probably won't tonight. But, but well, I'll, I'll make a few comments about the Andrew Tate phenomenon, you know, I would say, is that the mystery is, there is a mystery in relationship to Andrew Tate, and the mystery is, why is he so popular? And I, I think the part of the reason he's so popular is because he, he doesn't easily bend a knee, so to speak, you know? And it isn't obvious to me that he doesn't bend a knee because of his stellar moral character, but because I'm, I'm, I'm not particularly, what would you say, impressed by what he's done on the sex business front. It, it seems to me a bit on the pimpy side, let's say. And I'm not a great admirer of pimps. <laughs> so, wait, even if they're the electronic version. And, <laughs> Uh, and so, you know, but I, I don't know that much about the details of his life, and apart from that, you know, rather casual diagnosis, I'm going to leave it alone. But there is a mystery there, and the mystery is, you know, why has he captured the public imagination? And it's clear that he's become a voice, maybe, you know, maybe like a, like a, a kind of a violent rapper, same sort of attraction to young men. And that attraction is the attraction of what's, what's the alternative to a kind of cringing defeat, you know, and so maybe a, a forthright aggression is a preferable alternative to a cringing defeat. And I have some sympathy for that viewpoint, you know.